Hey guys, uh, I came up with a new name for my channel, something a little less, a little less generic. Besides David's fish, there's so many names that have come up like that. Uh, so mandatory monsters is gonna be my new name. I thought it was pretty cool. Got off one of my favorite bands. One of their songs has that in, it's in the title. I right, just want to let you guys know. See ya. Hey guys, welcome to Mandatory Monsters. I changed my name, it's all good. All right, this is the plan I have for my next tank. It's gonna be a monster of a tank. I like to make plans like this. This is to scale. Every foot in real life would be it will be an inch on this paper, so this will be a two scale. Um, it's gonna be eight foot by four foot tall and four foot deep. I didn't make a, a drawing up from the top looking down, but so what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be about a thousand gallons. I'm gonna make an. It's gonna be like kind of like a wood pond, a raised pond. But with a viewing panel and it's going to be a six foot viewing panel a little less than six foot on the opening because i got to have two inches of overhang for each side and um what I, what I have to do is i was just going to build a huge tank like i built my 350 but i rent this place i'm going to have to move it one day and i'm not looking forward to that so i'm going to make a pond like this but i'm going to use a pond liner I'm still going to have an acrylic viewing window and it's going to be heavier so I'll be able to take it apart whenever I move and I'll probably whenever I move I have a new liner ready to set up wherever I buy a house but I don't you know it's going to be a little while before I do that so I figured I'd go ahead and build this in a pond style so I can take it apart if I were to make it like on my regular tanks I'd be using epoxy pond shield you can't take that apart you got to move it as an assembly huge box and that'd be too much so I'm gonna build it like this either way it's gonna be almost a thousand gallons and it's gonna be awesome so I just I don't know if this is the type of paneling I'll go with just kind of did this to make it look like you know show you that this is gonna be wood I might do this gray the inside will be all black fish will be in here it'll be four foot tall so you'll be looking down a little bit this will be big this will be 22 inches so halfway down four foot tall that's gonna be awesome that will be huge the inside I didn't make it I didn't draw the inside with any carriage you'll see there you go that doesn't look as nice does it that's what the frame will look like this is all be two by fours um, I don't know, see I have four rows here. I don't know if I'll do four or three. This will be the face. The back will be like this, but all the way. Because this, you know, I gotta make a hole for the viewing window. And these will be the sides. This will be very easy to build. You can see, um, there's a, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about people making ponds like this. Um, of course, I think DIY, Joey King DIY has one. Of course, that guy has everything. He, if you want to build something, he has a lot. Not much anymore, but he's done so much. And then there's tons of others. But I'm kind of going to do my own using putting a viewing window with pond liner. And I have a great idea how to do it. I'll uh, explain whenever the time comes, but. So a lot of people wonder how I'm going to put acrylic, or an acrylic window in with pond liner and seal it. And I know exactly what to do. Well, I hope I do because I don't want that thing leaking. Alright, really short video. I just wanted to announce my uh, name change and show you my new plans. This will begin in about two weeks. I have a big check coming. I picked up a couple of days overtime so I'll be getting 2x4s to start the frame. And then really, after that, it's the plywood for the inside and some cheap uh, board for the outside. Paint it, 
The most expensive thing would be obviously the sheet of acrylic. Now we'll get that on eBay. I'll show you everything that I buy. I mean, I'm going to go through this build a little more in depth. Everything I buy, I'll show you. For even eBay, I'll show you exactly how much I paid, everything. And then uh, it'll be pretty cool. The top I'll cover with um, probably some clear greenhouse roofing material. But, uh, alright, that's all for now. See ya.